Hello class! Welcome to today's math lesson. Today we are going to look at writing the numbers 0 to 10 using words. Now often when we write numbers they look like this. We are writing the symbol for the number. But today we are going to be writing words like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Well, I think it would be better to start with the easiest ones. And I think the easiest ones are 6 and 10. 6, s, i, x. There are three sounds in the word 6 and three letters. I'm going to say the sound and if you know the letter, I, I want you to yell it out. S, S, I, X, X. Did you say that S, I, X spelled six? Oh, if you did, give yourself a pat on the back. S, I, X spells six. Let's take a closer look at the word ten. T, E, N. There are three sounds in the word ten and three letters. I'm going to say the sound, and if you know the letter, I want you to yell it out. T, T, E, E. N, N, T, E, N spell 10. Both the number 6 and 10 follow the one vowel rule. There's one vowel that makes it short sound. 3, 4, 5, and 9. All of these words have two vowels in them. 3, and four. Both have vowels that are walking together. So the first vowel is going to say its name and the next vowel will be silent. Five and nine also have two vowels. The first vowel will say its name and the next vowel is that magic E or that sneaky E that will be silent. Three. I made that first line quite long because there's two letters that make one sound. Do you know what letters make the sound? You're right, it's TH. TH says What about the sound R? Correct, it's the letter R. And the next sound says E. Three. You're right, it's an E. But remember, we're going to have two letters walking together. And so the first one says its name, and the next one, that E, is silent. T H R E E spells three. There are some other words that have two E's at the end, like the word B. B E E or tree T R E E. Let's take a look at the number four. Four. Just like there are four wheels in that car. Four. Four. F. O. The first vowel is going to say its name and the next vowel is silent. How about our last sound? R. For. You're right, it's an R. F O U R spells four. Our next number is the number five. Five. I'm going to say the sounds and I want you to yell out the letter. F 
F. I. I. V. V. And do you remember what that last silent letter is? You're right. It's the letter E. F I V E spells five. Nine. The word nine also has two vowels. Here are nine pretty flowers. I'm going to say the sounds and I want you to yell out the letter. N. N. I. Well, I. That one's easy. N. N. Hmm. Do you remember what the last letter is going to be? That's right. It's an E. This word follows the two vowel rule. The first vowel says its name and the next vowel is silent. N-I-N-E spells nine. We have spelled three, four, five, six, nine, and ten. And now we're going to look at zero, one, two, seven, and eight. These number words follow some different rules. Let's look at their words. Zero, one, two, seven, and eight. Let's look at the number zero first. Hmm, there's not zero jelly beans in that jar. We're gonna have to take some away. There, now there are zero. Zero. Hmm, I'm gonna say the sounds and I want you to say the letter Z. Z or Z. Z E E zero R zero O oh. Hmm Z E R O spells zero This word has two vowels and they both say their name the O we can remember because there's two syllables in zero. Zero. And the O is an open syllable. So it's good to say its name. Here's the number seven. This rainbow has seven colors in it. When I say the sounds, I want you to say the letter. S. S. E, e, v, v, e, e, n, n, seven, s, e, v, e, n, spell seven. There are two vowels in seven and they both say their short sound. Seven. Hmm. That doesn't follow the two vowel rule, does it? One way to remember how to spell seven is to sing a little song. There is a number I can spell and seven is its name. O S E V E N S E V E N S E V E N and seven is its name. O Let's take a look at the number one. One has three letters in it. And one has kind of a strange spelling. You can find the spelling for one in the word alone. You can also find the spelling for the word one in the word lonely. You can also find it in the word lone. One is spelled O N E. O N E spells the word one. Just like there's one cute puppy dog here. We're going to take a look at the word two. The word two has three letters T W. 
and O. Hmm, if you tried those sounds, it would not sound like the word to t o t w o. Hmm, T W O spells two. The first two letters of the word two, T W, are also the first two letters in the word twin, t in twin. If you have twins, there are two babies, and both the word two and the word twin start with T W. The last word that we're going to spell today is the word eight. And oh dear, eight is a hard one. You would think that eight would be spelled with maybe three letters. A t with an E on the end to make the A say its name. And that word does say eight, but it doesn't mean the number eight. That would be how we would spell the word eight, like I ate pizza. If we want to spell the word eight, like we have eight friends, it would have five letters. We're going to have to remember the spelling pattern for the first four letters in eight. But the T at the end does make a sound that we can remember easily. The A in eight is spelled E I G H. Did you know that? Did you know that E I G H spells A? This is the word way, and E I G H spells A. Way. In this word, neighbor, E I G H spells the sound A. Neighbor. E I G H T spells eight. Today, we have reviewed how to write the words zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And I know with some practice, you are going to do a wonderful job writing these number words. I'd love for you to take some time to practice and review how to spell these words today. Thank you so much for reviewing with me, and I hope that you have a wonderful day class. Bye-bye.